what are the prospects of sports betting growing in the United States these days? Uh, no doubt, uh, sports betting is on the cutting edge. Uh, it, it, it appears if the Supreme Court uh, will be taking that case up uh, sometime in December, and we're expecting some type of ruling for a PASPA to be repealed at that time is mm -hmm. what the industry is hoping. And uh, so uh, many states are posturing, leveraging themselves uh, as Mississippi is right now, where mm -hmm. we already have sports betting uh, legalized, contingent if PASPA is repealed. So if PASPA is repealed uh, from the Supreme Court, then we are able to proceed with sports betting in our state. Where would the sports betting be available? I mean, in terms of uh, placing a wager. Well, we're looking at uh, casinos is, is where we're looking at in, in the state. Um, uh, you know, the, the, uh, we're, we know that this will not be a huge market uh, revenue-wise, but coupled with driving visitation to our mm -hmm. state is what we're looking at sports betting, uh, even though it will be some revenue, but we know that this will be an incentive for people to look at Mississippi and um, uh, to offer sports betting and come and to visit us. Do you expect opposition from religious groups? Well, right now, you know, it is, it's, it's law. Um, and, and uh, you know, there may be some discussion, but I think with it going through the legislative uh, process, we've had our committee hearings, our subcommittee hearings, and it passed the House, the Senate, and the governor has signed that particular piece of legislation. So uh, I think just we're waiting on the Supreme Court. If it is repealed, uh, then we're moving forward with sports betting.